So, subaerial stem modifications are of four types. Subaerial stem modifications, they are four types. Of that, the first subaerial stem modification that is nothing but runners. First subaerial stem modification that is nothing but runners. In runners, what are the examples means? Of that, the first example that is nothing but oxalis. And the second and uh, second subaerial stem modification that is nothing but uh, underground stems. That is nothing but underground stems. Those are nothing but uh, strawberry. Those are nothing but uh, strawberry. And the uh, second one it is nothing but grasses. Second one that is nothing but uh, grasses shows uh, runners. It is one of the subaerial stem modification. In your in your uh, so in your uh, test book, they given the explanation about the runners taking as uh, oxalis as an one of the example. In this oxalis, what happens means uh, stem itself crawls over the ground. Stem itself creeps over the ground. Stem itself crawls over the ground. Uh, that means uh, whether the stem is weak. Weak means here the stem is uh, weak. Here the stem itself it is uh, weak. So that's why it crawls over the ground or it creeps over the ground or it runs over the ground. And what happens means it shows so nodes, it is differentiated into nodes and internodes. This portion itself, it is nothing but nodes and this portion itself, it is nothing but uh, nodes. These are nothing but uh, internodes. These are nothing but uh, internodes. Can you tell me, can you say whether these internodes, whether they are arch like structure means uh, these internodes they are bending like an arch. These internodes they are bending like an arch. And what happens means uh, from the base of the nodes, uh, adventitious roots are developing. From the base of the nodes, which roots are developing means uh, from the base of the nodes, uh, adventitious roots are developing. From the base of the node, which roots are developing? Adventitious roots are developing. From the above part of the, from the above portion of the node, it shows uh, leaves. Uh, it shows which one means it shows uh, leaves are produced. It shows uh, leaves are produced as in the same type of arrangement, these leaves are developing from the upper node of the stem. Leaves are developing from upper node of the stem, from the basal node of the stem, it shows adventitious roots. From the upper node of the stem, it shows uh, leaves uh, where this leaf shows longer petioles leaf shows uh, longer petioles leaf itself it is showing which type of petioles means uh, it shows uh, longer petioles this uh, this runners uh, whether it plays an important role in vegetative propagation means uh, it also plays an important role in vegetative propagation also and what happens means uh, Due to any circumstances, if these internodes, if they are broken, due to any circumstances, if these internodes, uh, if they are broken uh, and these uh, broken parts, whether they develop into new individual plants means uh, this broken part, uh, these broken parts, uh, they develop into new individual plants. They develop into new individual plants that is nothing but uh, it plays an important role in uh, vegetative propagation. That means in these runners, uh, if uh, older parts if they are going to be die means uh, whereas the younger parts they can survive and they can place an important role in uh, vegetative propagation. This is about the runners. This is about uh, Runners. Runners, what are the examples? One, it is nothing but oxalis. Second one, it is showing underground stems that is nothing but strawberry and grasses. Here, strawberry, it shows a fruit namely known as false fruit. It shows a fruit namely known as false fruit. That means a false fruit. What is meant by false fruit? False fruit, it develops from any part of the flower other than the ovary. This false fruit develops from, it develops from any part of the, any part of the flower. This false fruit develops from any part of the flower other than, other than ovary, other than ovary. This type of fruit itself, it is nothing but 
false fruit in this false fruit which one develops into which one develops into false fruit means that is nothing but thalamus develops into false fruit that is nothing but thalamus that is nothing but thalamus develops into thalamus develops into false fruit thalamus develops into which fruit false fruit and one more thing always a false fruit shows combination with true fruit that means in assertion in assertion false fruit also shows false fruit always shows always shows true fruit false fruit always shows which fruit here true fruit but whereas the true fruit may or may not shows false fruit but what is the reason means true fruit true fruit may or may or may not shows may or may not may not shows may not shows false fruit true fruit may or may not shows which fruit here false fruit according to this option what is that option means here a is right r is right but r is not correct explanation for a a is right r is right r is not correct explanation for a that is nothing but assertion and reasons what is that assertion false fruit always shows true fruit false fruit it is always combined with true fruit yes it is one of the true character but whereas the true fruit may or may not shows that means all true fruits they does not shows false fruit true fruit may or may not shows false fruit that is also one of the right character but it is not a r is not correct explanation for a that means in this in this strawberry which one is a true fruit means atario of akins is the in this which one is the true fruit means atario of akins atario of akins it is nothing but a true fruit it is nothing but which fruit here true fruit that means a false fruit shows combination with the true fruit false fruit in strawberry it is nothing but thalamus but whereas in strawberry what is a true fruit means atario of akins it is one of the true fruit it belongs to which family means strawberry it belongs to the family namely known as rosaceae family it belongs to the family namely known as rosaceae family so this is about the explanation of runners so we completed about this runners next goes to next goes to underground stem modification that is nothing but stolons that is nothing but which one means that is nothing but stolons examples for stolons one example that is nothing but nerium another example that is nothing but jasmine in stolons what is the example that is nothing but nerium that is nothing but nerium vodarum and nothing but another example that is nothing but jasmine before that this nerium also shows an inflorescence nerium shows an inflorescence that is nothing but cymose inflorescence that is nothing but which inflorescence cymose inflorescence that means it shows polycacial cyme that means it shows which type of uh, cymose inflorescence means uh, polycacial cyme and that one another one that is nothing but the jasmine uh, it shows uh, simple cyme or simple cyme or cymeol it shows a simple cyme or also called as cymeol in the nerium inflorescence that is cymose type that is polycacial cyme in jasmine inflorescence is cymose type that is nothing but a simple cyme or cymeol but when we are coming towards inflorescence there i will explain about this pause uh, inflorescence cymose type what is called as polycacial cyme jasmine what is meant by simple cyme or cymeol in this stolons what happens means uh, see here example we are taking as nerium in the nerium what happens means uh, from the basal part of the basal part of the stem it shows root system it shows a uh, root system what happens means uh, the branches which are developing from the basal part of the stem 
the branches which are developing from the basal part of the stem the branches which are developing from which part of the stem basal part of the stem these branches what happens means these branches growing towards soil these branches always growing towards soil and touches the soil and again it becomes aerial these branches which are growing from the base of the stem these branches they are growing towards soil and once it touches the soil and again it becomes aerial and these branches where it touches the soil it produces adventitious roots these branches where it touches the soil it produces adventitious roots can we call this branch as a stolon yes this branch itself it is called as stolon that means in the nerium and jasmine all branches are called as stolons no they, it is not called as stolons which branches are called as stolons the branches which are developing from the basal part of the stem and that branches they has to grow towards the soil and once it touches the soil again it becomes aerial where this branch where it touches the soil it produces uh, adventitious roots uh, and complete uh, this branch itself it is called as uh, stolon uh, and this stolon plays an important role in uh, vegetative propagation this stolons plays an important role in uh, vegetative propagation that means uh, during any circumstances if this branch is getting separated from the mother plant uh, during any circumstances if this branch is getting separated from the mother plant this stolon branch it develops into this stolon branch it develops into individual plant this stolon plants develops into which plant individual plant that means it plays an important role in vegetative propagation this is about stolons once again stolons what are the examples two examples nerium and jasmine nerium and jasmine whether it is showing cymose type of inflorescence yes it shows cymose type of inflorescence in the nerium it shows polycasial cyme nerium it shows polycasial cyme in jasmine it also shows simple cyme or cymule and one more thing about nerium in the nerium what happens means it shows whole phyllotaxy it shows whol phyllotaxy in the nerium it shows which type of phyllotaxy whol phyllotaxy that means from one node how many leaves are arising means think this one is the node from one node how many leaves are arising means three leaves are arising one node how many leaves are arising three leaves are arising which are present in circular manner which are present in whorl like manner towards one node can we call that one as whol phyllotaxy yes it is called as whol phyllotaxy that whole phyllotaxy itself it is shown by nerium plant itself it is shown by nerium plant but whereas in polycasial cyme from polycasial cyme from one node how many branches are developing that means it also shows how many branches developing at a time three branches they are developing at a time three branches they are developing at a time this is about nerium and what about me what i am saying means assertion and reasons in this assertion in assertion from one node of nerium one node of nerium one node of nerium one node of nerium shows whorl phyllotaxy shows which type of phyllotaxy whorl phyllotaxy what is the reason means reason from one node from one node from one node three leaves are arising three leaves are arising from one node that means what is the option is correct means a is right r is right r is correct explanation for a and what is the another assertion means another assertion here in the nerium in the nerium it shows in nerium it shows polycasial cyme nerium it shows poly casial cyme in nerium it shows which type of cymos in nerium it shows polycasial cyme what is the reason means in this reason what happens means from one node in polycasial cyme three branches are arising at a time so from in the nerium in the nerium from one node from 
वन नोड थ्री ब्रांचेस थ्री ब्रांचेस डेवलप्स थ्री ब्रांचेस डेवलप्स एट ए टाइम थ्री ब्रांचेस डेवलप्स एट ए टाइम इन दिस वट इज द ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट मीन्स द सेम ऑप्शन दट इज नथिंग बट ए इज राइट आर इज राइट एंड आर इज करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर ए एंड वट हैपन्स इन द जैसमिन इन जैसमिन इट शोज सिंपल साइम आर साइम योल वट इज मेन्ट बाई इट इज जैसमिन इट इज ऑल्सो बिलोंगिंग टू साइमोज इन फ्लोरसेंस ओनली but what happens in jasmine means what what is the what is the definition for simple sim or simiol means simple sim or simiol simple sim or simiol in simple sim or simiol what happens means it is nothing but it is nothing but two branched and three flowered inflorescence it is nothing but how many branches it shows two branches it shows how many flowers three flowers two branched three flowered inflorescence itself it is nothing but simple cyme or cymeol whether here only branching occurs only one time yes in this branching occurs only in this branching occurs only one time in this branching occurs only one time and what happens in this nerium and jasmine means the branches which are developing from the basal part of the stem that branches they are growing towards soil and they are again becoming aerial and where this branch where it touches the soil it produces adventitious roots and this branch itself it is nothing but a stolon during any any circumstances if this branch is broken if this stolon if it is getting separated from the mother plant it develops into individual plant the method of vegetative layering is completely depending upon which principle means uh, stolon principle which principle it is stolon principle what is meant by stolon principle means uh, the method of vegetative layering uh, is completely depending upon stolon principle within a shorter time many plants are produced within a shorter time many plants are produced this is about uh, stolons so next goes to suckers third aerial stem modification that is nothing but suckers one it is now what is the examples means one example that is nothing but chrysanthemum one example that is nothing but chrysanthemum and another example another example that is nothing but banana another example that is nothing but which one banana that means chrysanthemum and banana it shows which type of subaerial stem modification means it shows suckers it shows which type of a subaerial stem modification that is nothing but suckers and what happens here means see in this part of the stem grows aerial part of the stem grows underground this is the part of the stem part of the stem grows part of the stem grows aerial and whereas part of the stem grows part of the stem grows part of the stem grows underground part of the stem grows underground that means it shows root system it shows root system now what happens means uh, the branches which are not developing from the aerial part of the stem not called as suckers the branches which are developing from the aerial part of the stem they are not called as suckers the branches which are developing from the underground stem the branches which are developing from the underground stem for some time it grows uh, underground only after some time they grows obliquely towards uh, obliquely above the sunlight above the soil that means the branches which are developing from the under underground part of the stem these branches grows up to some time in underground only and afterwards it becomes uh, aerial afterwards it becomes apogeotropical in manner and these stems uh, these of uh, these branches they develops adventitious root from the node adventitious roots from the 
node and whereas these are nothing but leaves these are nothing but leaves and this branch itself it is called as suckers that means all branches developing from the chrysanthemum and banana they are not called as suckers which one are called as suckers means the branches which are developing from the underground part of the stem these branches initially they grow in the soil and later it becomes a aerial that means whether they are growing obliquely towards the sunlight yes they are growing obliquely towards sunlight and what happens means from the node area it produces adventitious roots and what happens this branch itself it is called as suckers this branch itself it is called as suckers during any circumstances if this branch if it is getting separated from the mother plant this uh, sucker this branch it develops into an individual plant it develops into individual plant it develops into which plant individual plant that means uh, i explained about runners plays an important role in vegetative propagation explained about uh, stolons which plays an important role in vegetative propagation and now i explained about this suckers which also plays an important role in vegetative propagation and one more thing uh, this banana this banana shows uh, which shaped suckers it shows a uh, sword shaped suckers it shows which shaped suckers means uh, sword shaped suckers banana shows which shaped suckers sword shaped suckers can be seen only in banana but not in chrysanthemum but not in chrysanthemum and it also shows another example that is nothing but pineapple and it also shows an another example that is nothing but pineapple this is about suckers and next goes to offsets what are the examples for half sets one it is pistia one it is pistia and second one it is icornia one it is pistia and the second one it is icornia now what happens means in pistia i am taking example based upon pistia in this pistia stem is condensed into disc like structure stem is condensed into stem is condensed into disc like structure stem is condensed into which structure disc like structure now what happens if the stem whether it is showing poor growth or whether it is showing excellent growth that means here the stem shows poor growth the stem shows which growth here poor growth that means if the stem whether it is whether it is, if it is not condenses gap between the nodes and internodes are very far from one end each other but whereas here the stem is condensed that means nodes and internodes are very closer to one end each other yes nodes and internodes are very closer to one end each other in the condensed disc like stem that means if the if the stem if it is condensed leaves are developing from the nodes no whether that leaves whether they are arranged in rosette manner yes the leaves which are developing from the condensed stem due to which nodes and internodes are very closer to one and each other due to which that leaves are arranged in which manner means rosette manner that leaves are arranged in which manner rosette manner this leaves are arranged in leaves are arranged in which manner means rosette manner leaves are arranged in which manner rosette manner and one more thing here we have to discuss each leaf it contains axil axil that means this leaf it is also contains axil where the axillary bud develops into one internodal branch that axillary bud develops into axillary bud develops into one internodal branch axillary bud develops into one internodal branch this one internodal branch itself it is called as half set this one internodal branch itself it is called as half set and what happens means here towards the tip of the one internodal branch it also shows rosette arrangement of leaves rosette 
arrangement of uh, leaves from the basal portion it shows uh, the basal portion it shows adventitious roots from the basal portion it shows which type of roots am from the basal portion it shows uh, adventitious roots uh, this adventitious the tip of the adventitious roots uh, are covered by the tips of the adventitious roots are covered by root caps or root pockets these are covered by that self it is called as uh, root pockets uh, and can you call can you call this one where where as these roots in pistia roots in pistia can we call that roots as balancing roots yes these roots are called as uh, balancing roots these roots are called as which roots some um, which roots here balancing roots what is the what is the function of balancing roots due to heavy water currents are due to aquatic animals this plant may be tilted this plant may be tilted in order to regain to its original position which roots playing a key role means uh, this balancing roots play a key role this balancing roots they play a key role that means here one axle one axle of pistia one axle of a leaf belonging to pistia one axle of leaf belonging to pistia is equal to one half set no is equal to one half set why because from one leaf it shows one axle it shows one axillary but it develops into one internodal branch that is nothing but half set but whereas one pistia plant but whereas one pistia plant is equal to many half sets no is equal to which one many half sets why because as pistia it shows numerous number of leaves that means it shows numerous axils that means it shows numerous axillary buds that means it shows numerous one internodal branches that is nothing but half sets no so this is about a pistia this is about which one here pistia now i am going to explain here pistia shows pistia shows two modifications pistia shows how many modifications two modifications of that first modification that is nothing but aerial stem modification what is that aerial stem modification in pistia that is nothing but one internodal half set this is nothing but the aerial stem modification and whereas the second modification that is nothing but root modification what is the root modification that is nothing but balancing roots root modification that is nothing but which roots here balancing roots and what is the third modification can you say here any leaf modification is shown here here leaf modification that is it is equal to it does not shows any leaf modification that means pistia shows only two modifications one it is aerial stem modification that is offset root modification that is nothing but balancing roots and root modification that is nothing but balancing roots and whereas this pistia they does not shows uh, they does not shows leaf modification and one more thing here and whereas in another example namely known as uh, icornia icornia shows how many exam how many modifications means three modifications icornia shows how many modifications three modifications uh, what are that three modifications means one that is nothing but aerial stem modification that is nothing but half set and second one that is nothing but root modification that is nothing but balancing roots and the third modification that is nothing but leaf modification that is nothing but spongy swollen petiole spongy swollen petiole spongy swollen petiole that means pistia shows only two modifications but whereas icornia shows three modification what is the difference between pistia and icornia it shows only one modification difference that is nothing but leaf modification leaf modification it does not shows any modification but whereas in icornia it shows leaf modification that is nothing but uh, spongy swollen petiole and one more thing here about icornia icornia whether it is one of the most uh, icornia it is called as a weed plant icornia it is called as into the ma icornia it is called as one of the most invasive weed plant 
and this iconia can we call that one as terror of bengal yes iconia it is called as terror of bengal why it is called as terror of bengal why because in fresh water areas that means in the stagnant fresh water in which water stagnant fresh water stagnant fresh water in stagnant fresh water what happens means the uppermost surface of the water uppermost surface of the water is completely occupied by icornia it is completely occupied by icornia if icornia if it is developing in the stagnant water means we cannot see the water itself also why because it is completely occupied by completely occupied by icornia why because icornia it shows fastest vegetative reproduction it shows fastest vegetative reproduction as it shows fastest vegetative reproduction within a shorter time the complete watery surface it is completely occupied by weed plant that is nothing but iconia plant which is nothing but terror of bengal which is nothing but terror of bengal why it is introduced into our country it is it is introduced into our country just because of beautiful shapes of leaves beautiful shapes of leaves beautiful shapes of leaves and because of beautiful flowers just because of beautiful shapes of leaves just because of beautiful flowers this iconia was introduced into our country as it is one of the invasive weed plant where it is called as terror of bengal it shows fastest vegetative reproduction due to which the stagnant fresh water it is totally occupied by totally occupied by icornia due to which what happens here means this icornia they observe all the oxygen present in the water they observes what happens means this icornia observes all oxygen this observes all oxygen from water it observes all oxygen from which one water that means the fishes growing in the stagnant water whether there the oxygen is available for fishes no due to which the fishes they are undergoing death there the fishes they are undergoing death due to which it is called as terror of bengal why because in in bengal the fishes are taken as vegetative food it is not called as non veg food so that's why there the fishes are undergoing death just because of this iconia that's why it is called as terror of bengal